Okay, time to give this a go. So, this is first time properly, well, properly playing the game. I have started it up and just clicked through a bit just to get a bit of an understanding on how it works. This is a strategy game set in the, well, pre-Roman, well, it's not pre-Roman, it starts in the Roman Kingdom period. But from what I gather, you can advance through and go through both the sort of Roman Republic as well as the um, Roman Empire, etc, etc, time period. Yeah, welcome to Imperium BCE, Kingdom of Rome, the Kingdom of Rome, or the so-called Roman Monarchy, was the earliest period of Roman history where the kings ruled the territory. There is no much information, not not much information, bit of a spelling error there, about kingdom history. According to the archaeological findings and some legends, 753 BCE was the date when the Roman Kingdom began with the city founding, and it lasted until 509 BCE when it became a Roman Republic. Click to start and make a new chapter in the Roman history. So yeah, so this is a, well, from what I can gather, a indie strategy game. It seems to have a bit in common with Total War Without the Battles, um, if that makes sense, and a bit Civilization thrown in there as well. I haven't actually done any battles, so I don't know. Maybe there are total war battles in here as well, but I don't think so. Um, not at least from what I've seen on the screenshots and, and so on. And just for full disclosure, this is not a sponsored stream in any way, but I was given a Steam key for it. So I guess that's sponsored in some way, but I'm not being paid. I'm not having to say anything ridiculous about the game or anything like that. Now, from what I can gather, the game seems to be a bit unpolished, so to speak, at the moment. They are making a lot of updates, though, um, but I'm not sure whether it should have been classified as being an early access or not. It seems to, it, it seems to be a bit unpolished. I'll, I'll try and talk um, through that when we get to it. Right, so first things first, then. We'll just go through. Um, you can trade for items. So this is essentially buying things for, you know, ridiculous amounts of money or selling them for pathetic amounts of money. So <laughs> only if you're desperate, really, from what I can gather regarding this. You do have the different kingdoms here. Then, as far as I can tell, you can only play as Rome. There's no option to select anything else or so on. It's simply, you start up the game, you play as Rome. Now, you have both what they refer to here as major kingdoms, and you also have the minor kingdoms here. They are, you do interact with them slightly different. As you can see, you do have different interactions here, where you can go to war with these ones, whereas these ones is basically as if they're assimilated or not. What happened to the music? That seems a bit weird. Right, what else have we got? We do have research. Um, I don't know what the best thing to go for here, but we do have it. There's a lot of things to research, both in terms of military, economy, etc., etc. We'll go through that. Um, academy. So this is essentially envoys. Now, from what I've managed to go through and I clicked it before, to actually be able to declare war, you need to research provocation and i presume that to do other things you'll need to research different things as well so at the moment we have one agent but to deploy that agent we're going to need to pay money um we'll show through that later also i'm not sure the game i'm not sure whether the pause button actually pauses the game or whether it just slows it down because i can swear that this bar is slowly ticking up there now, the odd thing here is that the pause button is on the left alt, which means that if I want to tab out, I will, you know, <laughs> hit alt, hit the left alt, which is going to cause some issues there. Right. You also have decisions, which essentially allows you to focus on something for a brief period of time. As far as I can tell, you can have one of these activated and it gives you a bunch of things. 
And then as soon as it finishes, you can select something else. So kind of useful. And then you have tasks here. And this is essentially, um, well, from what I can gather, you select one of these ones if you complete it. But I do have a time limit here, like we can see for 15 years. And then you get a bunch of rewards. These ones you can't select. I presume that they just work that if you are... Um, when you complete them, you just get the reward because you can't select them in any way. But not entirely sure. I haven't managed to complete any task. As I said, I've only clicked through and then I ran out of money. Um, these ones don't give you any form of confirmation when you click them. As soon as you click them, it basically says, okay, this is what you're doing now. So we're not going to click anything yet. And also, as you can see here, uh, the scrolling is a bit weird. As long as you have some form of scrolling to go through here, then it works through the list. But as soon as I hit the top here and continue scrolling, it's going to actually zoom in. And the same thing goes with you when you zoom out. So these are the kind of bit unpolished things in the game, shall we say. Right, so with that, um, we also have the cities here where we can build things. Now, as you can see here, uh, the cities have happiness and sanitation. These things also give you, well, can I either give you plus food, plus gold, etc., etc., minus sanitation. The problem is that you can't see what current modifiers you have anywhere unless I am missing something. So, for instance, if we go here, gold is... There are changes to gold. Essentially, you do have a monthly deficit or, or profit coming in here. But I can't tell where I can see that. So it's sometimes a bit hard to figure out what you want to build. Because it doesn't show you if you're making a profit or not. So you kind of just have to try and pay attention to these numbers. But what we are going to do first things is... Oh yeah, and also, for some reason, trying to click on a city while you're in pause mode doesn't quite work. You have to unpause it and then pause it. And the same thing goes with closing. It won't close until I unpause. Until some time passes here. Which again, it, it is a bit weird, but we'll, we'll go with that. Right. What we are going to do though first is focus on trade. I have no idea if that's the best thing to do, but I did run out of money very, very quickly last time. So we'll go for that. Because obviously I went for research. That's generally my go-to thing. Um, but yeah, so we're going to focus on trade. As you can see, we got a bunch of money straight away. And then we just get income for two years. So once two years has passed, we can click on something else. Now we do have a bit of research already. So we can select something to research here as well. And what I think we're going to do is go for more money. Because you can never go wrong with money. So that's going to take four years. Um, to do that. Right. Apart from that then. We now have 266 ducats. Which means we can build some stuff. Now. To be able to. Deploy the army. We can deploy the army already. Okay. I thought you needed the barracks for that. Alright. Well. Let's build a barracks here anyway. And. Possibly build something else. I mean, this is three food. Ah. Okay, we are building that one now. Very good. And here, I guess... Oh, yeah, it also... This one doesn't stay in the screen. It's, it's centered on the picture. This one is not very happy. Um, Actually, let's pause. Slave trader, though. Hmm. I mean, it's more money. Fountain does give a slight amount of happiness. Can't build a tavern. We need brewing for that. I mean... Okay, fine. You can have a fountain. Let's give you a fountain. We're building things there now. So these guys, which are the closest ones here, to be able to interact with these ones, we will need to send an Envoy there, which we can deploy somewhere. 
I did this earlier. <laughs> Somehow. Where do we deploy the envoy? Not here. Decisions, no. It's not recruit agent. Am I being blind again? Oh, there it is. It's 160 gold. And it's going to cost a lot more gold to try and interact with them later. So we're going to be a bit on the cheap side here. Oh, that was a very quick fountain. All right, let's get you a slave trader as well. And as far as you're concerned, wheat field. I'm just going to get for all the money in the world to start with here. Because what could possibly go wrong with that? Olive grove, eh? Um, hunting grounds is practically free, so let's get that going. You can also have hunting grounds. Which is being built down there. I'm guessing the buildings are sort of dependent on which freaking thing you're in. Fishing hut, yeah, gives us costs basically nothing. How are we doing with the decision, by the way? Okay, we're about a third through that, so no need to worry about it just yet. Rome, have a fountain as well. Now, we are going to be wanting some more research here. So, I think... This is food. This one is basically free, so let's go with you. Okay, so the last thing we can build here is the animal farm, which I think is fine. Let's go with that as well. Just building everything. That doesn't seem to be a great... Let's go with you. And we have pretty much built... Well, we can build the barracks here as well, which is going to give us a bit more troops. So, let's go with that. And... Research, how are we coming along with that? Minting is going to give us more money as well. Still got quite a while for the decision. There's no pop-ups or anything when the decision finishes either, which is a bit um, frustrating. We can also train cavalry. Does this cost anything? Um, not sure. It might have. That should give us a bit more troops as well, I believe. But I'm not sure. What is this? Religion and culture. Okay, I have no idea what these things do. I'm sure we'll find out before long. Weather effects are quite nice, though. I'm liking the sunset here. Right, fine game. I will build a stupid wheat field. Just because. Yeah, so now we have 75 hold infantry here. I'm not sure whether we can get some more people going here as well. Uh, have we built everything we can in Rome? I think so. So we do want to mint because then we can build... Well, minting because then we can build those things. And how about you? Okay, so we can get... Inf okay, so infantry here costs... But the citizen cavalry apparently doesn't cost anything. No, it does cost. It's just not listing the cost there. All right. Session is still slowly appearing there. Now. So these guys are basically the ones I think we want to take out next. Alternatively. Well, this one has four. So I think these guys will be easier. But well, we might want to just send an envoy here and integrate these guys. She'll see how that works. Uh, right. Do we have anything else we can actually do here? Rome is fully fleshed out. There's nothing else here we can do. We can deploy the army. Of 90 men strong. Which I'm not sure is going to be enough to do anything sensible. And I guess 10 more military. Sure. Why not? Right, how are we looking here then? Okay, this one has all almost come up. 
once this is up, we should be able to build mint then. And we can also then get some freaking research because we are going to need some. Actually, we haven't. Yeah, we still got two years left on this one. In which case, I think we'll just go for more money and we'll deploy the envoy and see if we can do some shenanigans with that one. Once this finishes, of course. Because we have now built all the things. We do have negative sanitation here, which is probably not the best, but... Do we have anything that can give more sanitation? Uh, Baths. Okay, I presume we need something for baths, but it's not telling us what we need. Um, unfortunately. Right. Well, this one is pretty much finished now. Come on, chop chop. Get even more money. This means that we should now be able to deploy the envoy, 160. So we now have this charming fella down here. We should be able to get over to here. And okay, so we can invest or extort. I mean, fine, we'll go with investment here. <laughs> see what we get out of that. Alright, so money is... I think we're making money. See, this is the problem. You're just getting random drops and rises and you have no idea what the sort of overall effect would be. So, a summary of some sort would be great. Okay, we have a plague here due to bad sanitary conditions, the disease has spread, which gives us less gold and less happiness. Well, I mean, we can't do anything about it at the moment, so you're just going to have to suffer through the plague there. I'm sure it's fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. This is taking freaking forever, though. Oh, well, I'm sure that's fine. We also have one mighty catapult there. Um, there's literally nothing else we can press on now. We can... We are losing money now, for sure. Which is obviously not great. Because the research going into the science one is going to cost us a bunch as well. Is this costing us money? Why are we losing money? Are you now unhappy? Yeah, these guys are unhappy now as well. Roman culture, foreign culture. How do we get rid of the... How's Rome doing? Rome's doing great. There's no problems there at all. Dissatisfaction. Oh my god. <laughs> can we, um, like... We can apparently just abandon the city. I'm not sure whether we want to do that. Alright, what's the... Can we destroy this? No, we can't. Once something has been built, it stays there. Alright. Well, you're just going to have to live with all of this crap in here, Hadria. Just sort it out. You're living close to the water. We do have a bunch of food, which we could sell off. As mentioned though, selling off is, you know, barely going to give us un any money whatsoever. So, that's not ideal. Now, I've no idea how powerful these guys are. I mean, their towns look a lot more pathetic than ours, for sure. So, maybe we could take them? The thing is, we need to be able to declare war. See, we can't... 
do anything. So send diplomat, declare war. We need provocation. Make alliance. Cost two and a half thousand? Yeah, that's never going to happen. Promote Roman culture, yada, yada, yada. We can spread the seeds. <laughs> Sounds glorious. Uh, right, what's happening here? Uh, not task, decisions. Okay. Slowly coming along. Research. Yeah, that is almost done, which is going to give us even more money eventually. Problem is, um, we are going to be losing. Oh, we are gaining money now again. I swear to God, I don't know how this works. How are you doing, by the way? Enjoying life? Yeah, well, I mean, Hadria. Fine, we'll we'll research something that's. Oh my God, they're not happy at all. I'm sure we can turn this around. Don't you worry. So, yeah. Also, I think when you do build buildings, they actually appear on the map here as well. So, we do have that going for us. All right. Come on. Chop, chop. Need that sorted and research. slowly coming along but again you don't get any information when your research finishes we can have a quick look though to see what we'd want to get auditing okay so I presume civic temple vesta temples organized religion waterworks I'm guessing 12 years though oh my god but that should improve sanitation, is my guess. Yeah, I mean, for Hadria here, just oh, they're so whiny. I've given them slave traders and everything, they should be super happy. How 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 low can this go? Okay, our diplomat is very close to making a deal with the king. However, the steward who has the king's confidence may be speaking against us. Our diplomat is going to have to find a way to get on the steward's good side. Okay, um, are these options? Give them a gift. I don't know. Uh, diplomat gave the steward a worthless trinket. Okay. Oh no, we did get the pop up there. Discovery. Minting enables mint. We can now mint coins. Okay. The trinket reminded the steward of his childhood and this changed his attitude towards Rome completely. Okay. I mean, sure. In <clears throat> he now praises our diplomat and is encouraging the king to make a formal agreement. Enables assimilate. Okay, so. 350 gold? Oh, for Jesus Christ. Can't afford that. I need to get research going. Which is going to be... Yeah, all right. Well, I guess that's going to have to wait for a while then. Right, we can research something else then. So, my guess would be waterworks. Just 12 years, though. I mean... I don't see anything else, though, unless there's some Saturn Temple Circus Maximum Trading Outpost. Yeah, all right. Waterworks it is. Fantastic. Right, the good news is that oops, um, we can now go away. Build mints, which is 
That's going to give us money. Okay. There we go. So this is all being constructed, which hopefully means we're not going to be losing that much money um, from the decision here. Add religion. I don't know what I can do with religion yet, though. It's just there. Literally don't seem to have anything we can do with it. Okay, money seems relatively stable, um, despite, you know, Hadria here being not the happiest people ever. But I mean, what you're gonna do? We do have a ludicrous amount of food, so we could actually sell some of that off. And then we might be able to get to this one closer. We'll see. Let's just sell some freaking food here. Trade caravan is... Oh, okay. Never done this before. Can I see it on the map? Is it somewhere? No. <laughs> Okay, I mean, we're basically making another 100 food by the time we have this one back. Alright, some more. This all seems fine. Alright, we will need to learn provocation, which is going to take five freaking years as well. Jesus Christ, but kind of wanting to try and assimilate these guys. Can we still extort them as well? We couldn't just go with assimilate straight away, right? I think that was grayed out, or maybe I didn't have enough money. I mean, do we need to click anything for that? Don't think. Send physician. Ooh, okay, okay, right. Abandoned city. I can send a physician for 150 gold. I mean, um, let's wait for now. I kind of want that money to. What? I bought food. Oh no. Oh, was the wrong tab. Well, that's great. That's that's exactly what we wanted to do. Confirmation message would be great there. Oh, good. Minus 28 gold now. Nice. I'm not sure what happens if you're in death, but probably nothing good. I'm just going to have to sell food over and over again. How long do we have left on this? Oh my god. This is a problem. We're getting minus two gold every every something. Which is obviously not helping. We need to focus on trade ASAP. And not actually buy food. Okay, come on. Bring back the gold. No, you want to. But yeah, I don't know whether some things happen during certain periods of months or something like that which is why they don't have a rolling statistics but just an average or something just so you have an idea whether you're trending upwards or downwards would be very very nice to say the least yeah hadria hey, your sanitation isn't really improving there is it well i mean Shouldn't be so dirty. Right, do not buy food. Sell food. All the food we can. Culture, religion, focus on crops. We don't need to do that. Add a hundred army units. Okay, so we'll just get 
another hundred here then, I'm guessing. Now, will I presume they die when you fight, or... Maybe they don't? Well, I guess we'll find out eventually. Checking, this seems to be very, very taxing on my computer. Hopefully it looks alright. We'll see. Uh, right, where were we? Yes, decisions. Okay. Still nothing of interest there. Just going to... Um, hang on a second. That will help a bit. Alright. Uh, decisions. Yeah, still got a while to go. Now, we did get a notification when we finished the research there. I'm not sure whether we'll get some for this, though. Could even sell a bit more food. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure we won't start to death. We'll be fine. All right. Come on. Probably shouldn't have built all the buildings here. Now, it is a bit... Annoying that you can't um, destroy buildings. Okay, almost where we can get more money, which will be great because we're going to lose, at the moment when we're doing this research thing, we're also losing minus two gold per month or whatever it is, which is obviously not helping. Right. I'm not going to sell until we reach like a hundred food or two hundred foods. We have a hundred foods to spare in case we need it. Okay. This is almost done now, now though. Which is great. And then we're going to get even more money. Okay. Right, so we needed 350 for this to happen. So we are going to give that a go as soon as we get enough money. And then go from there. How far along are we regarding this? Probably... Yeah, like nine years. Which does make sense because... <laughs> we took the thing three years ago. The decision that actually gave us, gave us research points, so... But yeah, there's no monthly increase in research, or at least not from any of the buildings I've I found yet, so... Uh, this is the only option. Don't know what these cultures... Are these things which we can... Now this costs gold. That costs um, religious points. Okay. Well, we can hold festivals as well. We're not going to do that. You're going to have to be unhappy, Hadri, over there. We're going to simply ignore you for now. And instead, what we want to do is assimilate this and see what happens then. Positions coming along. Great stuff. Okay, we do have enough food, I think, to just sell some more. Not accidentally buy any. And we almost got enough to assimilate these guys as well. But yeah, I don't know if there's any negative impact of being, you know, in negative gold, apart from the fact that obviously you can't buy anything. 
but don't know if you go bankrupt or anything. Oh, we do have enough now. Okay, assimilate. This is a timer, I'm guessing. Seems to be taking forever. All right. Nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah, there we go. We do have some progress. Okay, great. Plague, dissatisfaction. Yeah, well, I mean, apparently minus 10 seems to be the most you can get there, so it's all good. How's Rome doing? Oh, good. Rome has no sanitation on the plague now as well. Fantastic. We are, <laughs> we are the masters of pleasing our uh, people. Alright, so we just need to sort out these waterworks. Vesta Temple Construction Plans. I don't know what that is. Navigation auditing. I mean, it doesn't sound like any of these things are actually going to help us with... I mean... Like cultivation and stuff? Is that agriculture? Share knowledge to make farming more efficient, but does it mean it's going to, you know, make things less dirty as well? Um, the problem with Rome being this whiny as well is that we are losing money from here now. Dissatisfaction, yeah. Well, we just have to focus on trade again. And then we can ruin another city soon, as soon as these ones have been assimilated. It's going to be glorious. Alright, for now, let's sell the food. And get another 20 whole ducat. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. Well, we do have 68 research points at least, so we can research some other things without having to spend any more money. So, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Now, yeah, this is taking freaking forever. Oh, right. We have some stuff we can do here as well. Laws. Right to appeal against penalties. I mean, happiness. Is that actually going to... Conquer all cities of Carthage. Conquer all Etruscia, Magna Graecia. Okay. Happiness? Slightly more happiness? I mean, we can try it. So, is that just, just pick one? Didn't seem to have cost anything, right? No, all right. Uh, more money, please. Right. Um, I don't dare move this guy away from there just in case he needs to be it there for things to happen so we're just going to keep them there we could learn um provocation now which will allow us to declare war so sure let's go for that it's a mere five years to get that going because clearly we don't know how to declare war otherwise ah fantastic Okay. Well, money is fine, um, which is good. We can sell some more food as well. I'm surprised that no one is revolting yet, but hey-ho. Promote Roman religion. We need stuff for that. Send physician. Can I abandon Rome, really? Doesn't feel right.
or Tay Ho. Who am I to judge? Um, how's the research coming along? We are six years left. Fair enough. We're getting some money through there. All good. Right. So I wonder whether you want to promote Romanus here then as well. Because if we look here, well, try to look here. Roman culture gives plus 0.4 gold and plus one happiness. But foreign religion, Roman culture, Roman religion. So I don't know what these ones are going to be. I have freaking huts at the moment though, not very impressive at all. Sell some more food. This assimilation is slow. It doesn't tell you how long it's going to take when you click that button either, which is a bit annoying. Now, as soon as we can declare war on these guys, though, I mean, their cities look a lot weaker than ours. Surely we should be fine. It'll be interesting to see how combat works though. Okay, how are you doing? I mean, it's probably going to end up with us just, you know, dying, but we shall see. Okay, inspire people to spring to action. Academy motivation. So, yes, we can declare war now. Without CB, this act is going to worsen our relations with other civilizations. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just the way it goes. A CB lost 3,000 gold, though, game. So, yeah, that, that's clearly not happening. It's just ridiculous. What's this? This city will be brought closer to annexation and pay us tribute. Requirement, Roman religion and culture and city peace with civilization relations for... Okay. Okay, so if you... As well as inspire people, so we can... Is that rebellion? Alright, so we can promote Roman culture... I mean, that seems to be the boring way to go when we can surely just attack them. Ah, our envoy sent a big group of merchants from Rome who displayed items never previously seen in these parts. Locals are becoming more reliant on strong relationships with Rome. Okay. Aha! You are Roman. No? Um, can I not do anything with you? So, what does this mean? Is it a task I completed? No. Do I get anything from them? I mean, it's got my thing next to it, but I can't seem to... ...click on it or anything. Or is this when we can pass another law? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. What are these things? Are these other people's envoys? Or are these just random things out and about? Right. Focus on trade. Okay. So the question then is Do you want to focus on military? 
get another hundred units before we go to war. It is going to cost a lot of money, but we haven't really got anything to spend money on at the moment. So... I am kind of tempted. We'll give us 200 mighty units. We surely must be enough to take these out. Hmm. Minus five gold for two years, though. Um, how close? Research. Still got a while left there. All right. It's 200 mighty troops. So do you do anything for me? I have no idea what these guys are for. Agent experience, low chance of success, okay. Your map, your resources, find envoy, dissolve. Don't want to trick that button. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. All right. Um, I'm not going to spend anything there. Do we need even more troops? I mean, how how much? If they're as crappy as we are, then surely they should not have more than like a hundred troops as well. I don't know how tricky it is to siege something down though. Could be a terrible, terrible idea. I am tempted to go for another hundred ducats. We seem to be okay money-wise. Um, we'll sell some more food as well, because why not? And then, I don't know. Maybe you can't sort of balance out buildings with other buildings when it comes to um, what you may call it, health. Maybe you do need to send sanitation guy over here. We'll see. Let's give it a click and see. Is it instant? No, it's not instant. Once it finishes, is it just going to give plus six sanitation then? Let's see. In the meantime, let's just sell more food. Because why not? When in doubt. Yeah. Just moved it up there. We need to send them multiple times to get that sorted. Um, which obviously we can't afford at the moment. Or possibly ever. Um, we're not going to theft, you say? Ooh, combat. Sword fighting and martial arts. It is definitely intriguing. All right. Would be better if it remembered which tab you were on here. All right, but well, we are getting closer to waterworks at least. Now, is there any building that? Okay, that probably means we can. Yes, requirement waterworks. Okay, so we can build aqueduct then, which is actually going to make us just lose stones generally. Interesting. And it costs thirty stone as well. I do not have stone. <laughs> Come on, game. You're just trolling me now. Uh, right. How are we doing with the decisions here? Okay. I think we'll go with 300. Oh, we don't have... Yeah, we will be able to get 300. And then possibly we need to wait to focus on trace of stone. We have stone here. Which I can't seem to do anything with. Do we need to research mining? 
Right. Hmm. Tempted to get haggling though, because if I'm not mistaken, setting up markets gives gold and happiness. That just seems great. It does require marble though, which of course we do not have. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, let's sell some more food. At least we have some form of trade goods. As rubbish as they may be. Focus on trade. Um, can we survive another focus on military? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Excuse me? Um, excuse me, I believe I was supposed to be getting 100 men, or is it temporary? I do feel kind of cheated out of that one. Or is it that they only last for those freaking um, two years? Well, in that case, we can't really get more troops then. Uh, can we get horses here? We do already have horses and these guys, so... Can abandon the city to get extra stone. Surely that's madness. Alright, well we definitely need to wait for the next thing now. Because raising the army is going to cost 30 gold. And I have a suspicion that if you run out of money while you have the army raised, probably something awful is going to happen, so... Well, we'll soon have waterworks without any actual stone to build it. We can buy stone, which is costing us how much? 200, you say? Very good. Now, are there any other buildings here? This just gives gold, gold and food, happiness, slows enemy siege progress, okay. Baths, doesn't say what you need for baths though, but we clearly can't build them. Tax office, minus 0.8 happiness. Yeah, that sounds about right. The market's great, though. Do you want that one? To be honest, it would probably have been better to research haggling rather than um, minting. But, oh well. As long as we do get some money, it's all good. Right. Decisions, still no. Okay, we'll soon have waterworks, and once we have that, we'll swap over to trade, and then we can hopefully build some aqueducts in both of these guys. But we'll, let's go and war someone, and see how horrible that's going to be. I also want to check to see whether we're going to lose these troops then. Or, I don't know, maybe I clicked it too quickly or something. In any case, it didn't seem to, oh, it, it seems weird. But, oh well. Hmm. 
dissatisfaction plague what is the plague icon anyway oh it's just a pile of skulls excellent yeah i'm struggling to understand this one what why why are you here can't interact with you or anything unless there's something in here that you need to do there doesn't seem to be that much you can Bruder will persuade people to do what they want. Yeah, yeah. Deployed agent zero out of five. I'm pretty much I have one deployed here. Is it costing something while being deployed? I mean, he's going to cost two deploys, so I'm not sure I want to spend the money to get him back again. I'm not sure whether we need him to declare war, so... It's going to keep you around for now. Sorry. It's just the way it goes, I'm afraid. God, it's taking forever. Uh, money is starting to look a bit meh, though. Don't worry. I'm sure we can fix it by... Um, you know, declaring war. Enables aqueducts and water wells. Okay. Water wells. I don't remember seeing that. Temple, city walls. No. Unless it's only in certain areas you can do that. Stone quarry, mining, yeah. This gives us stone. To cost of barely any food. Current waterworks. We do have waterworks though, gang. To mean requirement waterworks. Did research waterworks. Right. What we'll go for here then though is let's go for haggling. Haggling seems great. Maybe it's just because we don't have the stone. That it's saying that. All right, can we? We can focus on trade. Okay. And yeah, we lost the troops. Okay, so those troops are only temporary. Gotcha. That sort of makes sense then. Um, what we're going to need to do then is freaking buy some stone here, which is going to be painful, to say the least. Well. We can keep selling our food for sure. Come on. There we go. We're about 200. Let's buy stone. Yeah, we're in negative gold now. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Almost sold this food, and then we can sell another batch as well, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, screw it. Just sell more food. Yes, we can build aqueducts now. Okay. Let's get that one going there, and is it cheaper here for some reason? All right. And I wonder if that's going to be enough to counterbalance all of the malices we have. I'm suspecting no, but maybe. If we can get the sanitation going, then we should be... Good to go.
because if we get sanitation going up, then happiness is going to go up, and we are going to be getting a lot more money. Which is going to help when we get the um, marketplaces in position as well. Come on, chop chop. Let's see if there's an actual... Oh yeah, look at that. Right. Which direction is it going? Oh, we can build baths as well. Okay, we might just not have had enough things for it. Okay. It is sort of struggling at the moment. But if we get some baths going here as well, then maybe we can turn this into a shining, glistening freaking capital of the Roman Empire. We are out of stone again though, um, so it is going to be interesting to see what happens then <laughs> if the aqueduct stop working. But yeah, we do have it going there as well. Come on, sanitation. We can do this. It's going to cost us gold per month though, but that's alright. We'll get another focus on trade, and then we get marketplaces going, and everyone is going to be so ecstatic with us, they won't know what hit them. And then we'll probably need to research mining, so we can get that going. I do think we should attack someone soon, though. It doesn't feel right. No. Not crushing our enemies. To pulp. Okay. We build a bath here as well. And uh, no, because we do not have enough stone. Okay. Nine point three now. Are you going in the correct direction? Nine point four. Nine. 9.4, 9. <laughs> I think we're okay. Um, but I'm not sure. Okay, we are going to get some more stone in a minute. And we'll probably need to buy some more... Well, not stone. We're going to get some more gold here in a minute. And I think we might need to buy some more stone. And then we can get some freaking baths going here as well. And then everyone's going to be so clean, it's going to be spectacular. Yes, sanitation is growing. Ha, <laughs> screw you, game. Right, come on, chop chop. Need to focus on trade here. There we go, more gold. Which means we can buy more stone it was stone right and 15 iron we got iron yeah stone stone's what we need so while this technically costs us 0.2 gold if we can get them to not be you know smelly and unhappy they will produce more stuff it is slowly climbing up, but yeah, I do think it is climbing up. Right, give it a stone. Thank you. There you go. Have some bars. Oh, we can build navy buildings there as well. Artificial unlocks catapult. Military port unlocks navy. We'll probably be needing a navy for the island there, but not too keen on spending that money right now. Okay, 8.1. This is incredibly slow. Get that. Um, what does this do? 
Inspire people to take many different choices. Okay, good. What is this? What's the number? I don't know. Okay, I'm guessing we can pass a new law, law when this finishes. I'm not sure we want to. Alright, Rome. <clears throat> sort yourself out. And you have the bus now as well, so this should start popping in the correct direction as well. Okay, good. And we do have more freaking things to sell off. So let's go with that. So how much are we losing because of this? Minus one gold, minus one happiness, and minus, so it's two gold, and then obviously the plague is making them more unhappy. Alright, sanitation is very, very slowly creeping back. Focus on culture, focus on spirituality. We don't need research again, so it's either whether we want to go for focus on military to get twice the amount of armies. Or whether this is enough. Tempted to get them because... Yeah, we don't know how it works yet. I will mobilize near this city. Got about eight months or something like that left before we get that sorted. You are going in the correct direction? Yes, yes, okay. They're all going according to plan. These places are going to be so shiny now. And then everyone will stop whining. Too bad sanitary condition of disease has spread. So, is that going to disappear then once sanitation goes up? I'm hoping so. Or it might take a while or something like that. We shall see. Alright. We should be able to afford having military focus here. And then we'll just go and declare war. And see what's what. <laughs> 635 come on push push harder you can do it there's no need to be dirty We still have some stones, so we should be good on that front. Minus six. God, this guy's almost catching up to you now. Come on. Chop, chop. 605. Alright. So, this is going to be expensive. I'm guessing you can just sort of deploy the army from any of them. So we can deploy. I'm guessing I'm not getting just the local ones here. 30 gold to deploy the army. So this would be closer, I guess. Alright, let's just go extra military. Deploy the army. Um, there they are. March the mighty Roman up there. 
freaking declare war. We're at war. All we had to do was make derogatory remarks about the revered high priest. The people demand that such blasphemy be punished. We have effectively declared war on them by insulting them in this manner. The warriors are preparing for battle. Well, so are ours. I don't want you to resupply. We fully replenish. You just go and. They got 320 troops? What the? Yeah, okay. Replenishing, okay. Come on, replenish. <laughs> How do you have 320? How many freaking cities do you have? We have 110 ships as well. Okay, this is bad. How do we peace out? Okay, make peace. Depending on the current progress of the war, diplomats will attempt to either parlay, make an ultimate, or an offer compensation in order to end the conflict. We can't click on that, so okay. Good to know. Alright, well, let's try and deploy the army again. At least they only have 120 now, so there is that. Where are you? There you are. Haha! <laughs> Screw you. The cities are vulnerable now. Right, let's go for the city then. Oh, come on. Um, how did we... What's the thing to... I don't want to dissolve. Ah, uh, here. Resupply. I don't have the money for it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some... Ah, oh, hang on. Sell food. Come on. Need that ca Oh, no. We're losing money too quickly. <laughs> Rome, can you stop being whiny? I need you to actually have... Oh, my God. He's got... Run away. Run away. No. Ah. Peace out. Make peace. Well, yeah, the, it, it's, it's definitely not actually paused. Hang on. Parley, our embassy has met in private a representative of the affluent elite who are making losses due to the current war. If they are successful in deposing the leader of their land, they are seeking assurances of long-term peace. They offered favorable trading terms with drone if this could be worked out. Their ambassador agreed to the requirements as long as they kept their part of the arrangement. Well, yeah, normally. So... War has ended. The wealthy elite were able to overthrow the leader and install their own man as ruler of the land. We will now have peace and solid trade agreements which will benefit everyone. The war came to a very fortunate conclusion. Did it though? I'm kind of, you know, not thinking that it did. Um, he has dissolved you? No, that dissolved you. I would like to... Excuse me. Can I not dissolve you? Do I need to fully replenish you to dissolve you? Or is it because you're not close to a city? Okay. Well, what we know now is that they currently have 310 people, which is more than we can handle. 
What we have though is the ability to do markets. Right. So with that tooling, assistance will do develop better farming tools. Don't know what that does. Lighthouse to help help our trading ships. Assistant will be inspired to construct temples. Let's go with baking. All right, so now we should be able to build a market, which is just a net bonus to everything. Apparently we don't have enough timber now. Fantastic. Well, let's sell some more food then. And when's the next decision? Okay, it's a while still. Well, Rome is almost clean. Which is hopefully going to be enough to shift them towards being happier. Which means everything is going to come up Millhouse. Right, let's sell some more food. And, oh, come on. Oh, no, I don't have the timber for it. That's why. All right. Right. And also, I would like to get rid of this army, please. Ah, oh, there's one. Dissolve. Okay. Sorted. Right. There we go. I would have thought this would be the dissolve button, because you have to dissolve the envoy there and then dissolve that one. Now the question is, could we now declare war on these guys again? Yes, apparently we can. Okay, good. Right, focus on trade is coming up, which is very good. How do they have that many freaking armies, though? Haven't got anything else up here, no, no. Could go and suck up to these tribes up there, but I don't know what we're getting from this one. It just seems to be there. Um, Focus on trade, please. Uh, wasting space. Sell food and buy... Timber. Oh, and marble. Oh, come on. Also, I was supposed to go for uh, mining, wasn't I? <laughs> Well, Rome is almost happy. Well, clean at least, which hopefully means they should start becoming happy as well. And then we can reap in the rewards. Still going to need the lumber as well, it's just that we do need marble. Also. Um, but yeah, so what are we researching now? Baking for six years? Alright, fine. Ah... Uh, Deploy the navy. How impressive is our navy? 80 ships. Let's. Why do I have a feeling that they're going to have like 400 ships or something ridiculous like that? I can see that definitely being a thing. Well, at least we found out how uh, combat works. It was incredibly exciting. Ah, sanitation. Almost. Please. Get rid of this. We need to start making money here. We're going to kick their asses. Find a 
minus 2.5. I mean, if we did send in the um, physician now, then obviously they should become, go up to positive sanitation. But I'm not sure if that's worth it. We apparently are getting religion and culture from something. Not entirely sure. Is that do we have some buildings that gives us that? You don't. You don't. You don't. No. Oh no, that's the um religion and culture here, yes, okay. Can promote Roman religion, but that doesn't seem to be a point because we're already Roman here, so that's not really an issue. Right, let's sell some more food. We're not going to be selling the timber game. You can't trick me. Happiness is actually climbing up. Oh, you're no longer plague ridden. Fantastic. That means we should be making more money. And happiness is actually climbing now as well. Is happiness climbing here? Maybe. It's a bit hard to tell. It should because you actually have the um, freaking market as well. So it should be climbing there. Okay. Great. Slowly. We are recovering from the brink of um, our own foolishness. Okay, baking. What does the baker do? I presume that's just food. Should have gone for mining. Ah, oh, it's actually more money. All right. Yeah, that's fine. The more money we have, the better. The question is then, how do we get more freaking armies? Because a hundred extra troops is obviously not going to make anything. Military, military. The barracks will be able to train the Hastati, which is ninety freaking points. I'm guessing that's where what we kind of need to go. We are going to need to pick research for the next one because we are out of... Well, no, not necessarily. Um, How far off are we baking? No, I think we can squeeze in one more money. If we need money for anything. Alright, well, you are climbing up to happiness again. Right, we do have enough money to buy some mar... Why is marble more expensive? Okay. Fine game. If that's how you want to play it. Well, we do earn slightly more by selling marble, so... Right, we don't want to... Ah, screw it. Let's just buy the marble. Done with it. And then we can build a marketplace here in Rome as well. And... They'll hopefully get happy. Sanitation is pretty much acceptable. Olive Grove. Okay. Acquiring agron agron agronomy. Right. Bakery everyone can do, so that's all fine. Temple. Environment reverence. Right, get the market going here as well. Focus on trade again. And we should be good to go. Right. Sanitation is actually positive. Happiness is almost about to become positive. We should lose this malice and we'll be making tons of money. Literal tons of money. Excellent stuff.
Okay, I think we're going to ignore the... We need to train some more military stuff. So... I think that's the next research. Baking is almost finished. Because we can't take out those 320. Let's go for the Hastati. And we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, 200 troops, not going to cut it. Um, baking is almost done, very nice. Right, we can construct bakeries and construct bakeries we shall. They are literally us a net benefit. Uh, right. We are a bit unsynchronized when it comes to this, so we can't actually research anything at the moment. I'm assuming I can't cancel this because we got the upfront 180 gold, so there's that. Oh yeah, Rome has lost its whininess at the moment, which is great, which means we're making even more money. Um, This is still a while off, but it is going in the correct direction. Could hold a festival, but obviously we don't want to waste money. We do have a ton of money, though. We could train up some more people here. Let's see. If we go click here, what can we do? Promote Roman culture. We need propaganda and motivation. All right, sure. Let's go with propaganda. Sounds great to me. Roman religion, so... Spy will provide us insight into this civilization's military capabilities will last for five years. Yeah, we probably should have done that, but, you know... Spy is pretty garbage. So he couldn't help it. But yeah, we're losing valuable research time now. Which is not good. So, need this, and then we'll train some more military, and see what's what. We do have a siege thing here. Do you deploy those separately? I don't see them. I'm guessing they're just part of the army, then. Because you can't deploy separate armies. You're just deploying your entire army. So, we're going to be able to click this button here. Um, once that research is done, of course, which is going to take freaking forever. But hey-ho. Don't buy anything. Sell some food, though. And if you could stop being whiny. Oh, this is going very, very slow. Romans seem happier. Look. Two, three whole happiness. Should build a tavern for them as well. Need brewing for that. That should definitely keep them happy. All right. Well, the good news is that their income seems to be fine. Um, hopefully should be okay once we remove the focus on trade. We do have a bit of money to take from, so that should be good enough. Just focusing on research and yeah. We can get more agents, but do we need more agents? That would only be if we're trying to assimilate more people. It's a bit odd that you can't zoom out any more than this. This does not feel like adequate. Oh yeah, there is also a uh, map, but not sure it's that useful. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Ah, uh, lost Ferrari. Ah, here's Italy. 
Right. Um, research, please. 100 research points. So what we'll go then for is a start team. Six years for them. But hey ho. At least we do have a pretty decent income now. We are going to need to go for another research straight away though. Because otherwise we can't afford to research anything when we come out of this. Well actually the research is going to take a while. This is only three years so we could sneak in something else. Although then it won't line up properly. I think we'll just go with focus on research. And then we have it banked and then we can go for... Uh, money or something afterwards i think we are pretty good when it comes to money now the only thing is there's not much we can do at the moment we can build so we get more catapults and that's going to unlock a navy here let's One gold, one timber. I think we're okay with that. Trim is going to give us some more ships. Could get one going here as well. Sure, why not? They're pretty much out of stone. Just in case the aqueducts stop working, we're going to buy some stone. I mean, we are filthy rich after all, so might as well spend it. Then sell some food for that extra delicious cash. Still don't understand the purpose of this one. Or maybe that's something that they plan on adding later. But as of now, it doesn't seem to do anything. Apart from, you know, being our pretty color, of course. So, more ships. How oh, happy are the Romans? 8.7, look at them, they're ecstatic. How about you? Still sort of whiny. Okay, we didn't get any more ships. Do we need to... No. Okay, doesn't seem to do anything, or maybe it activated this button here. Right, what's this? Stone quarry. Yeah, need mining for that. Uh, how are we getting on here? Very, very slowly. This is taking forever as well. But hey ho. Soon our agents will be unstoppable. Ah, there we go. Hadra is no longer whiny. I mean, it's still a bit upset, but that means we don't have any malice now, so we should be getting even more money. Fantabulous. Can't scroll with the mouse either, which is a bit annoying. Well, the question is just how many troops this gives us. I mean, if it gives us like 10 or something, we'll need to look at, you know, uh, absorbing them peacefully instead. Which is never as fun. It doesn't feel as satisfying as, you know, beating them to a pulp and getting them that way. Or is that just me? Okay. Don't leave anything there. Right, decision is coming up at least. I 
I'm gonna go for research again. Could technically build this as well if we had more iron. She gave us more catapults. Doesn't cost anything on a monthly level or on a monthly um, thing, so quite sure. Let's get the iron going. Sell some more food. I will see if that actually increases the number of catapults then or whether you need to build them individually. Come on, give me the iron. Give me the iron. There we go. So you can have one and you can have one as well. And then we can sell some food. But we don't seem to be losing money, uh, even though while we're focused on research, so that is good. We need to do it again. Still going to be like three years left. This one is almost finished though. Um, what else did we need? We're looking at this then. So if we wanted to... Um, what was it? Propaganda and motivation. And motivation. Okay, that's only 80. So that should be fine as well. Position is almost done. Fantastic. Academy. Let's go with motivation. And decision here is about to finish as well. Just curious to see whether you get a pop up here. No, we do not. Okay, more research points. So, can we do anything exciting now that we have um, propaganda and uh, motivation? Motivation on its own doesn't seem to do anything unless... We just don't have money or whatever. Can ally someone. Propaganda manipulation leadership. Okay. Alright, we do have research points now. So as soon as you finish with these shiny soldiers. And then we'll go for mining. Since we do have stones here. So we might as well make use of them and go for more money I guess so the wild off same with you oh my god research you don't have a great deal of things to do, uh, at least not in this part of the game. That volcano is looking a bit suspicious. So is this one. <laughs> Are these ones just tribes? I'm guessing so because they're pale, so we could deploy our guy. And have them sent up there to do some shenanigans. Sure, let's deploy the envoy. Which I did not mean to disband. Let's send you up to Genoa up here. See if you can do anything. Now again, I don't know what the purpose is of these ones. But I mean... 
I can try to extort them this time. We'll see how that works. Obviously, we're going to need a bit more money. The good thing is we do have food to sell. Okay, there we go. Simulate this settlement. I don't know. It doesn't say that you can't do it straight away. So maybe we just didn't have enough money. But then again, it seemed to indicate that you were able to assimilate afterwards. Maybe it'll just fail before. We'll see. Still don't see the point of them. You don't seem to be doing me anything. Unless you're giving some passive bonus or something like that. Which is possible. Um, would be nice to have a breakdown of how your resources are being... Um, yeah, whether you're in deficit or, you know, actually making some resources. Right, how are we getting on? Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Right, so after that, we probably want to go then for mining. 12 years! Oh, God. Surely we must know how to mine quicker than that it's a painful amount of time some way to do double research that would be great well these guys are almost happy now so we have that going for us okay we can build siege edition plus one maintenance while deployed 0.06 gold okay okay can we do anything with the uh... Okay, and here we can build ships. Military strength 19 by ream. Okay. Build that one and see how that increases that thing. Very, very slowly there. Okay, motivation is coming up. We will be needing a lot more money to assimilate these guys up there. Let's sell some more stuff. Yes. Okay, so it's just plus 19 there. Can we keep building them? Oh, we can. Why can we not do that in Rome? That is interesting. Unless... It costs up front, and then it costs maintenance while deployed. So it shouldn't cost anything just having it. So, okay, let's just build more then. See if there's a cap. I don't know, maybe Rome already starts with it, because we couldn't build the normal troops either. We could only build the... Um, let's call it the horsemen. It's a bit odd that it doesn't start with those buildings then. 118. We build even more? No, that's it. Okay, so you can build two of them per. Alright, that's fine. It is coming up. Academy slowly coming up as well. And we do not have enough money to do anything with you. Tempted to go with extort here instead and see <laughs> if there's any difference I mean it feels like extort would be the worse option but hey ho Well, we might need to wait for the next decision. It is very soon, though. Then we'll get a bunch of money coming in. We'll see how that goes. Or is this just grayed out because we... No, it doesn't say anything. I was thinking maybe we don't have enough resources. Because I'm not sure whether it's required. Probably required timber. 
which we definitely do not have at the moment. It's not food. Where would we be able to get timber up north? Okay, we finished the research, which means we should have finished this as well. So let's add some more gold. And as far as research goes now, let's go with mining then. 12 years. <sighs> okay. Um, excuse me. So some res uh, resource we don't have that we need. I'm going to assume so. Alright, let's try extort here then. See how that works. Um, we could buy something. The thing is, I don't know what to buy. Wood? Why are we losing wood? Alright, let's buy some timber. And sell some food. Because it should be this button here. We are definitely losing timber due to something. Question is what? Military port is costing us um, timber on a, I would say, not daily basis, but yeah. Okay, yes. So, 10 gold, 3 iron, 1 timber. Military strength, 20? Can we build more of them? Certainly hope so, otherwise this is going to be... There's only 10 here. There's only 10 there as well. We can't do any more. Uh, I mean <laughs> How are you going to beat his freaking 320 stack with this? We, we're going to have to go and assimilate these guys instead. There's just no other way of doing it. Alright, motivation... We can learn combat now. Alright, let's see how much... So, if we go here... We need 180 gold, 40 food, and 70 culture. We do have the culture for it, and we do have the religion for it as well. So we can definitely do those ones. We just need a bit more cash. Then we'll see. I mean, if we can take one city off of them, then maybe we'll have enough for the rest. How are you getting on here? But yeah, that's not... Um, Not amazing, to say the least. Right. Um, I don't know what the heck this is for. Nimble and capable of dealing with varying degrees of physical stress. Yes, yes, good for them. Position is slowly coming along. Our, you know, incredible research into mining is also coming along there. 120. I mean, did it up? Are they better, the troops, now? Can we get more? Is it just because we're out of iron? No, I think it was only three iron, so that shouldn't have an impact. But... Yeah. Not super impressed with our army prowess, for sure. We are threatening these guys up there at least, so at least they'll make us feel a bit better. Sell this food as well. Right, we do have enough money now, so let's try this then. Promote Roman culture. Which is very, very slow. Maybe we can just kidnap them. Okay, we are going to get a bunch of more money there. 
Because we don't need to focus on research or anything just yet. So that is fine. How are you getting on up here? Okay, this guy is almost finished. <clears throat> we'll see what happens there. This is actually relatively quick. Come on. Finish it. Uh, our diplomat went on a tour and asked the surrounding cities to not trade with his duchy. The duke is now isolated and angry. Our diplomat is now going to try and extort the duke. Ah, <laughs> oh, glorious. The duke is furious with Rome. The prices we offer are much higher than the duke was willing to pay. However, his inner circle suggested to him... Um, to take the deal as the people would start starving soon otherwise. He has reluctantly agreed to our terms for now. Okay, so that enables assimilate again. Yeah, so I presume you can't do it otherwise. Um, oh, hang on. Roman culture promote that. Our envoy has done an outstanding job in spreading the word about the magnificence of Roman architecture. The townspeople now want their leaders who are hesitant to begin construction in the same fashion. Whether it's mosaics or gem engravings, concepts popular in Rome are gaining traction abroad. Our culture is expanding across the region. Okay, so... Still says Etruscan, though. But if we... Oh, it's a two-step thing. I see. This is very expensive, but... We can do it. We can keep going. Can't take you by military means. We shall take you by other means. I'm going to take this one as well. Although we are going to need a lot more money for that. Still, slowly. All will fall under the glorious bosom of Rome. Right. I need to pop to the loo quickly though. So back in a couple of minutes. Check. Time to continue. So we need 350 gold to deal with that. We're going to need another 500 gold to try and assimilate this one. But okay. We're getting there. We will expand. I mean, we have expanded here. For some reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's not spend any money on this right now. Because we're working on this here. And if anything, we'd want the money to stimulate this guy. Okay. 
All right, what we'll do then is sell some food, because why not? Minus five, minus seven. I don't understand what this number is. Genoa. It's not listed here. Oh, it's Liguria. Okay. Oh, hang on. Roman culture promoted. Our ambassador displayed paintings done by Roman artisans in a foreign city. Our sculptors and ivory carvings have also gained popularity in the region, and this trend appears to be unstoppable. Regardless of how the city's ruler feels about the situation, the reality remains that our work is providing these people folks with joy. All right. So. Yes, they are now Roman. Roman religion and culture and city. Peace with civilization, relations for or more. Oh, I think I know what that thing there is then. This here is... Uh, where did it go? This is the relations with them. So, Etruscia here, we are going to need to smooch up with them. So, sabotage, interrogate, assassinate, CB, incite rebellion. Improve relations, propaganda, manipulation, and leadership. Oh, God. Leadership is 200, manipulation is 180. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's always something. Alright, fine. We'll work on it. We need to spread our glorious culture and religion everywhere. You can't stop us. Alright. See if we can get this guy at least. 350. How are we doing here? Focus on trade. Yeah, still working on that. Research is very, very slowly coming along. All right. Well, we are making money at least, so. There is that. Alright, Academy. Manipulation is one of the ones we needed, so sure. Let's go with that then. And in the meantime, sell some food. Now I don't know whether they can try and convert back. I'm assuming they can. Which is going to be annoying, but hey ho. Our envoy roams the city, seeking opportunities to teach and spread the word about what the Romans believe in. He's pouring gold and coins into altars and preachers, teaching Roman prayers, oaths and vows, and acquainting people with a new way of life. Excellent. So yeah, so we need to improve relations here, which means... Marble, stone and timber. We do have all of those ones at least, so we're just going to need to know how to do it. Okay. Right, and we're also going to need 350 for you, um, which I guess we're going to have to wait until that one finishes there. Well, it is not the um, quickest of games, or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm doing multiple things wrong, but... Right, so this is apparently Liguria. We have a task here for Liguria. Assimilate all settlements of Liguria, which should give us money. Potentially. Let's give it a go and see. 
Um, so we will need more money whenever this one finishes here. So let's not spend on anything else. We'll focus on getting this one done and see whether that gives us then a cash injection, which would be glorious. And soon we'll be able to get some stone as well. How happy are people here now? Ah, oh, look at the smiling faces. They know that we live in the absolute best of worlds. Fantastic. All right, 350 freaking gold though. Need more money. Come on, focus on trade, please. While that is happening, I shall refill my vape mod. Well, at least we do still have some research points, so we have that going for us. And we can sell some more food. These must give you some passive bonus or something, or is it just this thing you get for the quest? Well, we do have enough money for it now, so let's give it a go. Simulate you, please. Uh, okay. Yes. That worked. We did get that one. Okay, that was that pop-up. Sounded a bit more dramatic than I expected it, but okay, so we did get that money there, which means we can pretty much afford to get... Now we're still working on that one. Um, did we need to go for one more here? Yes. 40 food, 70 religion. Let's just go for it. Keep promoting crap there. And then... A citizen spotted a con oh, okay, you do get some dynamic events as well. The people believe the sighting of this comment is a bad omen. Be sure the citizens study these events further. Doesn't tell you what they do. Well, let's study them further then. Maybe we get some free research points. Did that affect the happiness? Um, doesn't look like it. Our priests believe these comments should be worshipped as they believe they are a sign from the gods. Happiness will decrease in some cities. Well, you seem fine. And you seem fine as well. Right, nothing to worry about. Oh, we're up to 170 now. Why? Is it because we're assimilating that one over there? I don't understand. <laughs> this is a bit weird, so... This thing here... Is above the overlay. Oh, hang on. Something else here. Roman religion promote that, but an... Neptune of Ceres is being worshipped. Our envoys make certain that there is enough food and drink for everybody who comes to visit a newly constructed temple. Bacchus and Minerva appear to be gaining popularity as well, but Saturn is unquestionable the most admired, at least in this city. Our ambassadors met with the chieftain of the area because the culture of Rome is so entrenched in the city. They have agreed to put up a proposal to grant the city autonomy. When the time comes, the city will join forces with Rome and become a part of our land. Oh. So relations approved. Okay, we still can't do this. Because relations need to be four or more. Okay. Alright. Um, which still means then that to improve the relations we need propaganda, manipulation, and leadership. And we are currently. Propaganda is only four years. Manipulation is 
And leadership as well. Oh my god, we don't... No, we already have propaganda. Okay. <sighs> Still, it's a massive pain in the ass. Well, at least we're in integrating these guys up here. We can go for someone else. Masali, are you one of the small ones? Can we get some money from doing that? Um, I need to figure out what you are. You are... Not on the list. <laughs> Unless I'm being blind, I can't see that icon. No? Alright. That's not to worry about it. We do have the horse though. Is the horse anyone? Clicking random things. Oh, Veneti. Of course they are. Is there a task for... Yes. Not a hundred ducats. Right, you're next. Just so you know. There's no escaping it. This is taking forever. This is taking forever. Okay. Could keep faffing about with these guys as well, I guess. Thing is, I'm not sure whether they have the ability to reverse this. 170 now. Why is this increase? Do our um, cities have a population or something like that? And we can't see that. Don't understand. Oh, we can do more here, though. Hmm. So this gives plus happiness. I'm not sure whether this is worth it. This is a freaking lot of gold for happiness. And then you can get a bit of it back here. Unless it's that you need to pass all the laws. I don't know. Leave that for now. It doesn't seem worth it. Uh, right. You can always make another decision though, which is great. I mean, we should be spending money on something, so... Fine. We don't have enough culture, right. Focus on trade. Which means I probably should have done something there to actually get more culture. That's alright. We'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. Do you have a ton of money? Um, which is good, because you're going to go, go over there and do that. I'm assuming you need to stay here while doing this. I'm not moving you anyway, just in case. Do we want to do one of these? Just seems to be a net... I mean, we can go with that one. Get a bit more religion and, and culture, I guess. Hopefully it's not going to be enough to make them unhappy here. That's not my city. Seem to be happy enough still at least. Are there more happiness buildings? Yes, tavern. And courts, which are freaking expensive. Amphitheater. Using the temple. Yeah, temple gives stuff as well. All right, how's the research coming along? Not. <laughs> okay, that one's not too bad. All right, you're finished with this now. I need to get the Venetians as well. But yeah, I have no idea why this is just randomly growing. It's weird. 
See if it grows when we get this one as well. Does this grow? No, I don't think this has grown. This is just what we built. This has definitely grown. Nine point eight, you seem to be fine still, so Okay, stuff has happened up there. This is the problem as well, you can't quite see when stuff happens. Our diplomat brought a large number of merchants from Rome, offered West, never seen, yeah, great. You are now mine. Send you over there. Excellent stuff, Genoa. Well, that hasn't increased our infantry or anything like that, at least, so. Alright, let's try investing here, then. Okay, yeah, and it was great out there, and we definitely did have enough money. So, that is a thing. Positions. So, we could do these, focus on spirituality and focus on culture. Um... Next time, because we haven't really got anything to spend money on. Maybe I should buy some iron just in case there are some requirements here that we're not aware of. Yeah, sure. Buy some iron for now. I'm sure we'll need it eventually anyway and just sell some food. And that way we have some stuff of everything at least. So, should show up if there are any requirements. Still going to need a bit more money though to assimilate Venice here as well. Are there any more tiny ones down here? You, I'm guessing, is one as well. Syracuse, you have the same as this one, okay. You have a ship. Okay, and we're going to need 200 for leadership there as well. Jesus Christ. Well, let's keep selling food. I mean, it's not a great deal of money, but it is free money, essentially, so... No reason not to keep piling it up. We could also build more siege things here, but considering their army, we're still not going to stand a chance. We can get the most 270, which is obviously not going to beat his 320. Although, once we've taken one of these ones, then maybe he won't have as much thing. No, do not buy food. Sell food, please. Can't tell which things you have conquered here. Guessing no. This will zoom to the envoy, so I'm guessing if you... I don't know. It would be nice to have some pop-ups here on the sides or something like that. Just to... Ooh, we've forgotten about this as well. Well, let's just go with more money. Because why not? Now, this is just going to sit there. Now, this one lost this palisade. This one still has... Okay. Academy. Great. So, you are going to go for leadership now, then. Fantastic. Does this mean we can do something else exciting? Elevate Rome. Our agents will encourage defection as well as inspire people to embrace Rome. Okay. Let's 
Should we try it? See what happens. We are here to learn after all. Sell some food. We're almost finished with that one. Hopefully that will be okay. And then we can get another mission ticked off. I mean, it's still a net loss in terms of doing them, but hey ho. Can't complain too much. Come on, chop chop. Keep selling some food here. Athens declared. Oh, calm down now, here, game. Athens declared war on us. Germanic tribes declare war on us. Magna Graecia declared war on us. And Etruscia declared war on us. Okay. Um, the leader of this city demands tribute from the people of Rome. He believes the city is superior and should be shown respect if they are lost to our diplomats in the city. Our diplomats will organize for an appropriate tribute to be delivered to this mighty leader. Okay. Great. Our diplomat managed to find a suitable gift. Turned out the ruler is very agreeable when shown respect. And our diplomat took advantage of that, making deals for the benefit of both Rome and this city. Enables assimilate. Okay, great. So, let's assimilate you. And then see about this. So, well, this is going to be freaking awful. Is this because we had terrible relations with all of them? I'm assuming so. So, oh, is it when you reach minus 10? But why do they keep dropping down, though? Athens. It was all the, all the way freaking here, I'm guessing. Yeah, down there. Carthage. Celtic. Celtic? No, not that. They didn't declare war. Okay. That's fine then. Germanic tribes and Magna Graetia. Uh, Etruski as well? Yes. All right. Well, um, I guess we are going to deploy our army. Excellent. <laughs> we are replenishing. A thousand and fifty? As, oh, okay, that's his naval strength. What exactly is he doing? Is he humping the land? Okay. I mean, interesting strategy. But I'm not sure that will help you. Okay, so... Hey, do you want peas? Rome elevated. Uh, agent lost. Why? Our agents worked hard to convert the people of the city and adjacent villages from their fate to ours. This infuriated the ruler, who not only ordered the execution of our agent, oh, but also made scathing remarks about Roman customs and beliefs. This predicament, however, has turned our agent into a martyr, inspiring the people of Rome. Okay. So we lost our um, guy. It's fine, I guess. Do you want to peace out? No, not yet. We crush your army, though. I'm sure you'll be more keen on it. How about you? No. Um, not a catapult. Deploy army. 
We should win this fight, so it's all good. I mean, we got 170. It's a bigger number. There you go. Screw you. Won the battle. Right. Do you want to peace out now? Evidently not. Okay. Right. Resupply. Go back and fight stupid Neapolis. Do. Make peace. No. Okay. That is doing something. Make peace. No, no peace there. Come on, you can do it. Oh God, <laughs> quicker, they're coming. No, quicker. Yes. Okay. Peace out, you freaking no he doesn't want to peace out how about you do you want to peace out no ah <sighs> is it because we don't have a freaking thing no we do still have one here okay um could you, like, run away? No, you cannot. We lost the battle. Yes, yes. We did. Do peace out. No. God. Hey, who is this army that's here, by the way? This is... Oh, that'll be the Germanic ones. Oh, good, good, excellent. That, that's what I wanted to see. I don't know, they seem to be too stupid to actually siege down anything. So we have that going for us. And apparently we've managed to take Neapolis. Um, what else is going on here? Still doing that. Um, What are we looking for? Okay, mining is coming along nicely. Might want to ally someone. Why do people keep getting upset with us, though? <laughs> well, these clearly seem to be easier people to beat up than the um, Etruscans, though, that's for sure. Well, I guess we're deploying our army again. Which means these guys are going to come charging straight up here. Yeah. Ah! Run away! <laughs> I'm not sure how clever the AI is in this game. Do so you want to peace out? No. Run away. <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, no, no, don't get stuck.
Make peace. No, still don't want to do that. Alright, fine. We're just going to fight you then. We lost the battle. Yeah, yeah. We won the battle. Oh, did we win against this guy? Do you want to peace out then? No, you do not. It's not because we don't have any of the things, right? Uh, let's get more money. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's recruit an agent. If that is the problem. I mean, it looks like we do have one up there doing stuff, but... Maybe because we don't have one, we can't send out to actually do diplomacy stuff. Yes, we can do peace here now. Okay. Keep the territories we have occupied. We also to hold any conquests on the land and commit to working the da 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 da. Yes. Okay, great. That is one out of the war. How about you? Ballet. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, war will continue. How about the other ones? Right, like... You, why are you even in this war? Athens. No, we can't do anything with you. Is that because there's been nothing going on there? We need to try and find the other ones? They're just hiding somewhere. Where's the stupid Germanic tribes? It's not you, right? I mean, Carthage. Do you want to peace out? No, you do not. Um, I can't do it from here, right? Carthage, trust your Germanic tribes. I mean... You don't want to do it either. All right. Oh, that's Greece. Oh, why do these things just stay open? All right. Give me my army back. Don't want to fight. Oh God, he's just racist, stupid armies over here. Well, we can do mining, so. Let's do just that. We need a lot more timber for that. Okay. Let's wait until we're not fighting everyone and their uh, five cousins first. That is not one where we can deploy them. Deploy army. Um, we do want to start researching something else though. Develop better farming tools. I mean, sure, why not? That'll be great. Watch them immediately start running down. Ah. Uh. Yeah, 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 I know. They don't seem to want to go for battles or anything, though. Hey, Carthage, do you want to just peace out? No. I'm assuming it's based on there actually being some conflict or something, and because Carthage is not going to land troops there. And I'm not going to sail against his gargantuan army, that's for sure. Um, 
seems a bit weird at the moment. Is it because I got the menu open? Yes, okay. That is a bit... I mean, should I either, you know, travel with you or um, close when you get out of its sight? Because this is a bit weird otherwise. No, not you. Ugh. Wanted to fight this guy. I know, we lost the battle. No, not you. Oh, there you are. Can't do anything. Well, almost finished with that one. <clears throat> we have that going for us. Oh, good. Macedon declared war on us as well. Fantastic. I feel this is a bit, I don't know, racist. I don't think that they should be allowed to do this. Is it because we declared that war in the beginning? And that just keeps getting the relations worse or is there some other reason see if we can get you out of the war A diplomat was attacked by tough warriors on his way to a location where he was scheduled to meet with peace negotiator. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Well, I guess we're continuing then. Probably until the end of time, because they are not occupying anything. Um, which means this is just going to go on and on forever. Oh, hang on. A phone sent us a message. A diplomat and his crew apparently walked into a unit that was uninformed, that peace discussions were taking place, and that they were not meant to attack our soldiers. They apologized for the incident and asked us to another meeting, promising that there would be no ambush this time. Uh, try to negotiate. Okay. Alright. Giving us money as well. Fantastic. Um, okay. Interesting strategy there, uh, Etruscia, I must say. That's... That's... That's one way of doing it. I mean, I'll, I'm happy for the money, but I'm not sure you understand. We do actually have a bigger navy than they have at the moment. Um, unfortunately, we do have Carthage there, who has... Shall we say, a ridiculous amount of troops. Deploy army. I mean, to be honest, we at, at the way it looks at the moment, we can probably just ignore them. They are at war with us, but they're not doing anything. Unless we deploy an army, they just... Okay. Warlord will now abide by the Senate's ruling, plus 200 gold. Fantastic. And you're still here. Well, I mean, keep grabbing the other ones as well, then. So, you. So that's there as well. Uh, did we deploy our army? We did. And you're not actually fighting it? You want to peace out as well? Unless it's somewhere else, and it's impossible to find. I mean, is there something... 
over here in Greece. Do you want to peace out? No, can't do anything with you. Wells, where we at war with? Carthage? No. Army will fully replenish. It is fully replenished, though. Okay, there he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this guy is just going to go and stand somewhere. That's all they're doing. Oh, can we actually build some crap in this city? Yes, we can build stuff here. Okay. That is good. Right, let's start getting... Market to start with. Barracks as well. Let's see if we can get some even beefier troops. Then maybe we can actually beat people in a battle. Okay, let's get a mint going as well. Sure, let's just deploy the army. And we're going to take another trade decision. Lost the battle. Yeah, yeah, as expected. Alright, hunting grounds, more food. Sanitation and happiness sounds great. Let's go for that. We are pretty much out of stone. Could we not build a quarry here? What was the reason for that? We need a ton of timber and marble. Okay. Um, I guess that's fine. Start buying timber and marble. And sell off some more food. Do kind of want baths though, which is going to be stone. So otherwise, these ones are going to get incredibly whiny very soon. So let's get some stone going for now. Um, what else? Slave trader, you say? Sounds great. Even more money. And in the meantime, we can sell some more food. And of course, deploy our army. Yes, so they have something to throw their faces at. Ha! Screw you. Um, where the heck are you going? Why are you teleporting over there? Right. Are you wanting to negotiate now, though? Yes. Okay. Parley. Try to negotiate. Okay. Great. Now, if we look at the relations here between us and the Germanic tribe. So, it's minus three. So... They might not attack us immediately. Carthage. Um, it's obviously not going to want to negotiate because we haven't had any. I think the game requires you to have some form of battle with them. Which is obviously not great. Also, where the heck is my army? Was just teleporting off screen somewhere. Um. <laughs> I 
I think this army has bugged out a bit. Okay. Um, well, that's going to cause some issues, to say the least. Um, well, we can't deploy anything here. Right. Oh, we can build some aqueducts here at least. So... Start importing food. Um, yeah. We still like food, but not as much. So we can't deploy our army. Our army apparently slowly teleported off the screen somewhere. So, I don't think we can continue here. Uh, yeah, well, I think we're going to call it here then. So that is Imperium BCE. Um, definitely has some kings to iron out, but I think it could turn out quite like quite a nice game just needs i don't know it needs to speed up there's too much waiting around now it might be better come later in the game but at the moment it just feels like you're sitting there doing bugger all essentially but yeah in any case cheers for tagging along and i shall uh, see you later